Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sani of LS Web Apps and I welcome you to this brand new tutorial series which is Laravel 5 Login and Registration System Okay, so uh, here we are in our base folder and what we're going to do is um, pull down Laravel using Composer so I'll do um, Composer create project and we're going to prefer the distribution use the prefer dist and flag there and uh, what do we want to pull down is Laravel which lives in the Laravel repository and we want to install it um, in a folder um, called um, Laravel 5 registration dot dev okay so we'll press enter and we'll wait for that to pull out all the dependencies that Laravel um, needs and um, that will take a while so I'll pause the video here and resume when that's over okay so now that um, composer has pulled down all our dependencies um, it has created a folder called laravel 5 login registration so i'll just do an ls and as you can see this folder here has been created um, for us by composer so we're going to go into that folder by using laravel um, 5 login registration dot dev and i press enter and let me just do a ls and as you can see these are all the uh, files and folders in that um, project Alright, so before we go ahead, I'll just mention two things. We're going to be using Twitter Bootstrap to style our application. And secondly, we're going to need one extra library, which is called um, Live, which is called Laravel Collective um, HTML. Okay, so before we go ahead, let me just pull that in using Composer. So I'll do a Composer require. Just um, note that you have to be inside your project folder um, to do this. Okay, so Laravel Collective forward slash html so what it's going to do is add this uh, package to our composer.json and um, download it to our folder our vendor folder that is okay so i'll let that um, download as well and um, okay so now that that's also been added to our project so let me just open this project inside my text editor i'm using atom so i'll just do atom dot forward slash and that should open it in Atom Text Editor. Okay, as you can see, we have a brand new Laravel application and everything has been set up for us. And um, I'll just show you what that last command, uh, that required command that we run, what it did. So I'll open composer.json and this is all it did. It added this um, package to our application and then also to our vendors folder. So a, a brand new default Laravel um, application nowadays um, from 5 does not come with um, HTML um, helpers and all that stuff so that's why we needed this package okay so next let's make sure that this package is properly configured so go to config and go to app and site for providers and we need to add um, two um, providers to our application so that it can make use of that package so uh, sorry one provider that is so um, the provider we need to add is the collective HTML HTML service provider class and lastly we need to add two aliases so that we can easily use the package and the two are the form and HTML aliases and they are facades actually so I'm just going to paste those here um, just so we are quick and uh, you don't have to watch me type them okay so next what we're going to do is we're going to create a database so um, I'll go to my um, database manager which is SQL Pro and I'll just create a new database you can use any database manager or you can use the command line if you are more familiar with that so the database name will be um, Laravel 5 login registration um, okay so I'll just create a database and then next what we have to do is configure our application so that um, it can um, use that database so I'll go to my environments um, file here which is what Laravel uses to configure your environment um, so I'll set the database name to what we have created in SQL Pro here and um, the username for the database I'll set it as well and the password for my database server as well okay so um, that's all that we needed to do for um, our new Laravel application to set it up to use our database all right so what I have gone ahead and done is I've created um, a virtual host for this application and I pointed it to the public folder um, for our base folder all right and what that will do is um, it sets up my Laravel application so that I can view it in the browser so I'll go to the browser and I'll um, go to 
the virtual host which is located at laravel 5 login registration dev you can create any virtual host you want or you can just do uh, uh run it from the command line through php artisan um serve uh, whichever suit um, floats your boat okay so let's view it in the browser and um seems like we have a 500 error um so let's see what the problem is so i'll go to my storage folder the logs here and um, it seems that the storage folder is not writable so basically what i'll do is i'll do a chmod on the storage and the um, bootstrap folder so basically when you create a new laravel um, application you have to make sure bootstrap cache uh, folder is writable and the storage folder is writable as well recursively so i'll just do chmod 777 i make that recursive it's r and uh, we're going to do the storage and bootstrap forward slash cache writable so when that's done go back to my browser and i refresh and that should work we have a um, laravel 5 brand new application so finally what we need to do is install our migration tables and we migrate our um, existing user um, table okay so let me just show you what's in the database right now as you can see there are no tables in the database but what we need to do is um run the php addison migrate install um, command and what that's going to do is create our migration table so we can keep track of laravel's migrations so i'll just press enter and we go back to our database here now when i refresh as you can see there's a new migration table created okay so um before we run the next um addison command i'll just show you what we have in the laravel application so a newly created laravel application comes with a user class and it comes with some migrations as well which are found in the database um, migrations folder and it um, creates a password resets table which we're not going to use in this tutorial series yet and um, it creates a create user table which creates a user and some um, columns id name email and password which we are going to use in this um, tutorial series so uh, we do not need to repeat this um, here so let's just go ahead and run the migration using php addison migrate and what that's going to do is run that migration that these two here Okay, so um, let's go back to our database here and refresh. And as you can see, we have those new tables created, the user table with these fields here, our columns, and the passwords resets. Okay, so um, that's it, guys, for this um, first tutorial video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I am very excited for this tutorial series. I hope you are. I will see you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.